Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. Did you guys miss me? I know I missed you. I hope everyone is doing well. You guys, I've been gone or I've been away for a little bit, but I have a good reason. Let me tell y'all, my business has been taking off. It is doing well and I am so grateful and it is here to stay, okay? In today's video, this is a 21 month lock update. It's been a while since the last time I did a lock update, so I have to fill you guys in with a lot. Ooh, someone's sticking out. Uh-uh, <laughs> see, listen, fine apple, you was doing just fine. Stop acting up now. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna give you a lock update, a little bit of a life update slash, you know, how my business is going. And also, y'all, I cut a few of my locks. I know. I know, here they are. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you why. So if you're interested in what's going on with Dora in Dora's garden, <laughs> please keep on watching. All right, let's get on with the video. The first thing that, like I said, I wanna update you guys with is my business. It's been taking off so far. I've made 22 sales. <laughs> I've had at least two returning customers. What a huge accomplishment, you guys. Like, it started off with a thought, with an idea. I wrote it down, I started speaking it, and then I gathered some funds together, and poof, we just taken off, and here we are today. So that alone says a lot. This is a product that is handmade with love, and it does work. So if you're interested in finding out more details about my product, make sure that you visit my website. I'll leave it above on the screen and also in the description box. My products gear towards all hair types. This is the Hibiscus Hydrating Mist in Rose. And then I have my Nourishing Elixir right here. This duo right here will get your scalp and your tresses, right, even your skin. Look, look, look. It's just all right. I'm excited to see what's the come. On to why I decided to cut my locks, you guys. So it started off with, okay, so the back row, the very bottom row had a lot of lint. And so I got me a pair of tweezers and I started picking it, picking at it. And what ended up happening was a lot of the lint was embedded in my hair. So I started picking the lock, which caused the lock to thin out. Yeah, don't make the mistake that I made. Do not go picking the lint. If anything, you want to take the necessary steps to prevent lint, which are making sure that you are covering your locks whenever you are laying down, whether it's to take a nap, okay? Um, beware of certain type of clothing like um, cotton and things like plush and things like that that can easily get embedded. And don't go heavy on the oil. This oil in particular, I really love to apply it to my scalp. And after I wash, I use it as a hot oil treatment. Um, but I do not put a generous amount on the length of my locks. So yeah, and you know, this is information that I learned along my journey, but I already was suffering from lint issues. So I started picking. So look how thin it got. It thinned out a lot, especially from here to here. And so I was like, you know what? I can't do this. It almost became like an obsession. I said, okay, I'm just gonna cut this one off. What made me decide to cut off the other two was that this one was my middle lock, okay? And what happened, look at all of this lint. I mean, it just, it's gonna happen, but there are ways to prevent it from becoming like this. Um, you know how your hair grows at different rates? So my bottom row, like at the very bottom, it grows the fastest. So like, let's say this is a lock, right? The bottom part was growing out faster, but the top of the lock was not growing at the same rate. So I felt the weight of the lock on the top and I tried so many things, but I just decided, you know what? This is another reason to cut off 
did I cry when I started cutting off these locks? Not necessarily, but I really had to convince myself because I, I started to get sad. And then I say, you know what? I mean, these two are gone. Why not just do the whole row? So I'm gonna actually show you what it looks like. Let me mist it first and brush it out because I don't need y'all making fun of my little beta beads, okay? Okay. Y'all not about to make fun of my beta beads. No, ma'am. Okay. So I'm gonna show you. So this is the part that I ended up cutting off. Look, it's growing out already. And I plan on installing three locks there so soon and i'll keep you guys updated on that right, moving on to the last update which are my locks you guys i'm gonna go ahead and give you a 360 but before i do i want to give you a side by side i'm going to leave a video right here that i posted on my instagram if you are not following me make sure that you go ahead and do um you can follow me at doris garden it's spelled the same way as my channel but here in this video you can see a nine month or eight month comparison because you know i'm always looking at myself in the mirror whether it's passing the mirror you know because i have to use the bathroom at some point and when i wake up and do my hygiene and it's like i really don't see the difference but when i actually did it side by side i was like oh god okay i see you sis your locks are flourishing yes they are when you think they're not they are okay All right, so I'm just gonna whew, take that down. Y'all, I'm so pressed that my hair can go in a fine apple now. It's called a fine apple. <laughs> so just take that down. Use my good old juices and berries. All right, so everything is nice and moisturized with the mist, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a 360. There we go, so. Okay, this is the front of my locks. Okay, here is one side. Here is the back, you see. Here's the other side. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Here's the other side. And here is the front, you guys. I am so in love. I'm so in love with you, locks. Stop. <laughs> These are my locks at 21 months. And y'all, I couldn't be any happier. But yeah, you guys, so this is all that I have for you for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you will be up to date on when I post. All right, so you don't miss out. And yeah, oh, you guys, I didn't even give you an update on my, oh, what am I doing? I just, well, I'm just gonna show y'all and dip out. No, let me just give y'all a little bit of a rundown. So I am still, the only products that I use are my products, okay, of course. Um, I retwist every three to four months. My last retwist was August 18th, and that was the third time that I went three months without a retwist, and I love it. It works for me, and I'm going to stick by it. Um, I wash maybe once a month or whenever needed, depending on what type of activities I do. Like, for example, swimming, I may have to wash more frequently. But yeah, that's all I do. I say I keep it simple. I keep it moisturized. I keep it wrapped up. That's all that I have for you for today. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. 
yeah thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in my next video bye